uh, about the right eye, well, it's not there anymore, right? So she's partially blind, right? Okay, I will tell you more of the flowers. They are being clean, so what they have is what we call bowers. Very flat, just for showing or grinding those things. Now, in the next image, the uh, one difference that is actually very obvious right now, the difference in the size, right? As you can see, the two finger slots are much bigger and much stouter than the first one. Right? The hair is also different, yes, and you can see the hair anyway. And here's the very, very interesting question. Why these uh, tropical mammals are completely covered in hair? I mean, if you guys look at all that hair and remember what we are, right? The tropics of Central America. So, from the human perspective, you can go like, wow, that's hot, right? But these guys, they have it because they need it. The thing is, understanding, right? The, the function of the finger and only one three finger. The last enclosure will be a three finger, right? It is important that you guys know that you're looking at uh, toddlers or young sloths already considered permanent residents. What I'm saying, you guys, is that these are babies already staying here for the rest of their lives, right? Why? Because of storm or hurricane, lightning, or something like that. Right? Okay, now they have their own diseases, obviously. They can be sick. Uh, predators. We're going to talk about predators, by the way. And the last one is the one that says no more. And they default one last time. And we have a mother from upstairs going like, oh, you know what? I'm not doing this anymore. I'm done with this baby. I'm out of here. Right? And she leaves. And that baby becomes a food for another animal or dies of starvation right there. And that is called what? Natural selection. Right? Now, uh, natural selection, that this is not natural selection here, no way, right? This is human intervention. What happens, you guys, is that people find these babies or whatever slot that